Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some uh, pretty old gameplay actually from Black Ops. Um, I didn't realize before I watched watched through it. Um, so I'm using the Stoner 66. I had a phase where I, where I really loved it, and I'm probably gonna going to try it out if I play back Black Ops sometime. Yeah. Um, so what I really wanted to talk about is, um, and if you're wondering. No, I'll just leave the leave it for the uh, leave it for you to see how how well I how well I do. Um, uh, what I really want to talk about is um, people's reactions or people's thoughts about Black Ops. You know, about two months down the line, um, a lot of uh, top YouTube play uh, top YouTube commenters commentators commentators yeah. Uh, has um has said that they're getting bored by black ops uh they really don't enjoy this game as much as they probably thought they would um and I've kind of been there for a month now and it i really think i really discussed this with uh with a buddy of mine and we kind of came to the the conclusion that Black Ops is just Modern Warfare 2.5. It's really just a a Modern Warfare 2 once again, but this time they've done it right, kind of. So they've tweaked it here and there, so the kill streaks are not that overpowered as they used to be, uh, and they've they've done a lot of things. And if you've played Black Ops, you know what I'm talking about. And I think that those tweaks have made it a better game, yes, but it's not any radical, radically new thing. I mean, it once again, it's just uh, another uh, Modern Warfare 2.5. It doesn't really bring anything new, really, really new to the table. It just is an update, if you want. Um, so. And another thing that I find myself thinking is that it's just too random, uh, if you know what I mean. It's just, there's so much bullshit that can happen in Black Ops that I just get frustrated and don't want, frustrated and don't want to play anymore. Um, and it's, I especially think that ties into the, I'm not going to say overpowered, but the strong kill streaks or even strong weapons in a way that... The chopper gunner is well. It's fairly easy to shoot down. It really depends on the map and how and how well the uh, the other team is spawn trapping or your team is spawn trapping when you're up in the chopper. But the thing is that just the fact that the chopper is there and it's that easy to use and that the bullets have splash damage just. I, I don't know how to say it, but it just makes it so annoying, and I'm always running around with Estrella as my secondary. That's just what I... I always do that, and I'm ready to shoot down air support when it goes up. I usually use it for the, the choppers, though, uh, and the thing is, when I spawn, I go behind cover, pull up Estrella, and kind of Ease, out, ease my way out uh, out of cover so that I won't get hit. But the thing is that people spawn around me and even if I, I'm running Ghost Pro or something and the chopper is I won't get the red uh, uh, red um, diamond shape uh, on top of me people are spawning around me and even though the chopper isn't hitting me the splash damage from the bullets and yes they do have splash damage uh, will kill me because they actually do some damage even if they don't hit me and that just annoys me and that just makes me frustrated and yeah so as you might um, might know I've barely started playing a lot of um, uh, Bad Company 2 which is I, I'm, I'm probably some people are gonna hate, uh, hate it when I say a more balanced game but it's a more, I don't know how to put it, fair game perhaps? Less frustrating? And the thing is that if you're going to take a chopper, you can easily take down a tank. 
you can easily take out person take out personnel. You can easily take out buildings even. But the thing is that um it's so much it's a lot harder to fly a chopper in Bad Company too. So if you really can fly a chopper, I I know out of experience that you've really trained and you've really put some time and effort into flying that chopper. And some people say that that's a drawback of the game, but I don't think so, because that that's actually one of the things that I love about the game, because it's one of the games that still sa say you need to spend some time with this game, you need to put some effort into this game, you need to get some real skills to actually be effective with the chopper. They even say the tanks are hard to drive. I don't believe that at all. The tanks are not hard to drive. I easily manage a tank, and I'm not, not that big of a vehicle guy at all. But, and the choppers, I can handle them, can't handle them at all. But that's just the beauty of it, because that's how it's supposed to be, in my in my opinion at least. So the game is coming to an end here, um, so I have to cut it off here. All I can say is I hope to see you next time. Snuckies.